Hello. We're going to be looking at plans for the Oak Park. Um, one or two of you may have drawn this house before, but we're going to uh, draw it using Revit. I know someone's done it with um, uh, Chief Home Ar Chief Architect, um, so the software is different. Um, what I want to start off with is a, a discussion on levels and setting up the levels um, in the software. Levels are actually drawings within the software, so there will be a basement level, a first floor level, a floor system level, a roof level, and there's going to be plans or drawings associated with each level. So what you need to do is figure out what the spacing on the labels is um, going to, uh, on the levels is going to be. So our floor system here, if we add it up the uh, uh, components in the floor system. Um, you've got three quarter inch tongue and groove. This house uses a, t a two by ten uh, floor joist. And then we're going to count this two by six beam plate, we'll, which will match the sill plate out on the edge of the house as part of the floor system. So three and a quarter inches, um, I'm sorry, three quarters of an inch for the floor, uh, for the OSB, uh, nine and a quarter inches for the um, floor joist. And one and a half inches here. If you add that up, it'll give you 11 and a half inches. The distance from the bottom of this beam plate to the bottom of this four inch concrete slab will be eight feet. So the basement walls will be down here eight feet below that. So we have an eight foot deep basement, an 11 and a half inch thick floor system, a first floor that will be eight feet tall. And then the roof will be setting up there at 8 feet 11 and a half inches above zero. So all of this stuff is in relation to zero. Um, zero is not the ground, it's just a point of reference in the drawing. So if I come over here and begin a new drawing and I use an architectural template in Revit, when I go in here and start looking at the software, one of the things you'll notice that I've got properties and a project browser. Sometimes these are half, your, your system may be set up where half the screen is the properties and half the project browser. You can flip back and forth between them on this tab. I like to take the properties, grabbing the properties tab right here at the bottom, come on, and drag them over to the other side and dock them over there. I can make this a little bit smaller. That way I have full access to my browser and my properties. I've got a large enough screen that works. If you have a smaller screen you may not want that. Note here that I have floor plans and ceiling plans. Ceiling plans look up, floor plans look down. Most of the work we'll be doing will be at the floor plan. Uh, area here. You have level one, level two, and site. Now what this means is you've got a drawing called level one, a drawing called level two, and a drawing called site. Basically we need four levels. We need the basement, the first floor, the floor system, and the roof. So we're going to take a look at where these are at and how far apart they are by going down to one of the elevations can be any one of them, east, north, south, or west. I'm just going to double click on south, and here I am. I've got level 2, which is at 10 feet, and level 1, which is at 0. Those names match these names. So I'm going to go in here and rename these, and I can uh, just click into it. I can rename them over here also. But I'm going to call this the uh, floor system. I'm going to start the floor system at zero. It says, would you like to rename corresponding views? It was level one, so if you watch over here, level one will become floor system. I'm going to go to level two, and I'm going to call that the first floor. And we said a few minutes ago that it's elevation. We can click in here, or we can change it over here also was going to be 11.5 inches. So at 
Would you like to rename corresponding views? Yes. So there's the first floor. The text is rather large, sitting on top of one another. If you go over here in the lower left hand corner to where it says an eighth of an inch equals a foot, set that to a quarter of an inch equals a foot. It'll still overlap, but we'll move that around a little bit later on. But it's a better scale. It's a more appropriate scale, in fact. What I would suggest you do is you go to the west, and you set that to a quarter of an inch equals a foot. You go to the north, set it at a quarter of an inch equals a foot. Go to the east, and set it at a quarter of an inch equals a foot, because that's what we'll be using. I'm back to the south view. If I touch a level, put my cursor over it and select it with a left mouse button. Right click, I can create similar. And so I'm going to get, come up here in space and you can actually see a measurement coming up behind me here. I could go right up to, if I'm careful, there's eight feet. I pull it over here, it locks it. I'm going to create another one. See, I'm a, now it's finding the bottom one, and I pick on there, and I can pull, whoops, pull down eight feet, and I can pull over here. See, it locks. The blue dashed line shows up. It's minus eight feet. Now, it would be nice if these lines... If I pull that over, it locks to that one. It would be nice if they were all the same length. So I'm going to pull them over. Get the blue dot. And have to zoom in on it. The little blue dot, pull it over. See if I there we go. <clears throat> so this is not level three. This is going to be the roof. And like I said, I can click in the text here or I can go over here and call it roof. Would you like to rename corresponding views? Level 3 over here will become the roof. If I slide down, there's level 4. I'm going to call that the basement. Would you like to rename corresponding views? Yes, we would. Capital B on basement, capital F on floor. Floor systems has a capital F, capital S, capital R. These titles, these labels, will appear on our drawings, and they need to be capitalized correctly. So they should look nice and neat over here and over here. Um, so we've got our levels set up. You can go up to the first floor. That should also be set at a quarter of an inch equals a foot. The basement, quarter of an inch equals a foot. The floor system, quarter of an inch equals a foot. The one problem we sometimes have with the software is somebody will accidentally turn off the project browser or the properties by hitting the X. Whoops, it's gone. How do I get it back? It's under View, User Interface, Properties, or User Interface, the different navigation bars. The other thing we have problems with is rolling this stuff up, these icons. So. I've got minimized tabs, minimized panels, buttons. So between this little arrow here and this arrow here right beside it, we can change the look and feel of these icons. So you have to just play with those. So um, I'm going to go on, uh, we'll save this as a file, uh, a video file and we'll come back and do sheet sets.